And I love this verse because it says your spirit is made to sit. You don't have an option. When you get saved, your spirit is seated with Christ, and you don't have a say in that. Now stay with me. You still have your free will. It's called will and emotions and mind. But your spirit's where it's supposed to be. You're born again. You've got a new spirit. God just showed me this in the first service, very clear. But your spirit, it says we are made and made to sit together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. In other words, the real you sit down with Christ. What does that mean? You've got a different perspective. You're not in the barnyard anymore with the chickens. You see what God's doing. You understand the kingdom. You understand righteous living. You understand that you are the blessed of the Lord. You're not trying to get blessed. You are blessed. You're not trying to get redeemed. You are redeemed. That is if you've accepted Christ. It all takes place at the, the it, you're translated from this world system into a new kingdom when you get born again. And there's not been nowhere near enough preaching on the kingdom of God. We got people saved and left them in their mess. But that's not what Jesus said in the Great Commission. He said, teaching them to observe all things and to know that, lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the earth. Making disciples. What's a disciple? Someone that understands the kingdom they represent. What's an ambassador? Understanding the country they represent. He said, you're an ambassador to the kingdom. Understanding kingdom principles. And they don't make any sense to the world. 